Hey everyone, it's Judy, the Body Confidence Coach, author of the little book of Body Confidence and creator of the Body Confidence Journey, the coaching program for women who want to kick the body hate habit and step into their best life. And today is Body Confident Friday. Welcome. Today I want to talk about what to wear when you struggle with your body confidence. Now, some of my clients find it so difficult to to decide what they're going to wear if they're struggling with the way that they feel about their body. So whether they're getting dressed for a day at work, an evening out or a wedding, they can spend hours and hours worrying about what they're going to wear and what other people will think. And sadly, if the worry becomes too great, they're more likely to pull out of an event or call in sick to work and they end up wasting so much of their time and energy on worrying about what to wear. And all that worry and all that expending of energy can take the joy out of attending a social event or a wedding. So how can you decide what to wear when you struggle with your body confidence? And what can you do to make getting dressed easier, or dare I say, even enjoyable? Well, I've got three strategies for you to get you started. So first of all, declutter your clothing. Now, one of the things that I see contributing to the stress of choosing an outfit is simply overwhelm. So if your wardrobe is filled with too many clothes, you are going to struggle to see what's in there and to be able to put outfits together. Added to this, if your wardrobe is filled with clothes that don't fit you or that you simply don't like, when you see them on a daily basis, they can act as a trigger for negative thinking about your body. So if you're hanging on to clothes that are too small and hoping that you'll fit into them again, and there's no judgment here because I've done it, we've all done it, I just want to ask you, how do those clothes make you feel? Because if you're anything like my clients, they probably make you feel like a failure or that your body isn't acceptable. And so in order to reduce overwhelm and the negative thinking about your body, what you need to do is clear out those clothes that don't fit and that you don't like. And once you've had that good clear out, you will be better able to see what you have in your wardrobe and you can then have a go at putting together outfits from the clothes that you have left. And this may also mean that you will need to buy some additional clothes to complete outfits, so make a note of those too. Then once you've completed this mammoth clear out, promise yourself that you are only ever going to keep clothes that fit you and your body as it is now, that you like, and that you feel comfortable in from now on. And that brings me on to my next strategy, which is to wear things that are comfortable. Comfort is so, so important to the way that you feel in your clothes. So for me personally, I hate wearing clothes that I can't move in, eat a proper meal in, or that make me itch. Because when you feel self-conscious about your body, you don't want to be wearing anything that creates additional discomfort. So choose clothes that you feel physically comfortable in and don't feel that you have to wear the latest fashion because so many fashionable clothes are far from comfortable. And that leads me nicely on to my final strategy, which is don't be a slave to fashion. Now, just because something is in fashion, it doesn't mean that you have to wear it. And if you put pressure on yourself to wear the latest fashion, that's just another way of bowing to societal expectations about what a woman should and shouldn't wear or what she should and shouldn't look like. Instead, spend your time discovering your own style. Because for me, style is about knowing who you are and then expressing that through what you wear. And that is completely different from fashion, which is more about conforming to the latest trends rather than personal expression. Because when you dress in a way that truly expresses who you are, you will feel more comfortable and confident not only in your clothes, but in your body. So decide what clothing is you and wear it. 
And don't let anyone tell you what you can and can't wear based on your body's size or shape. So there you have it, three strategies to help you decide what to wear when you struggle with your body confidence. I'd love to know if these have been helpful to you, so please leave a comment below. That's all I've got for this episode of Body Confident Friday, and I hope to catch you next time.